Hello, 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 and welcome to a nice bit of live darts Iceland. My name is Robbie Dove. I'm going to be taking you through this live final action between Akresk and Grindjanar. Before ado, though, are you interested in helping out um, live darts Iceland in their future streams? Check out this quick video and you'll see how I look as well. Hello, hello, and welcome to Live Darts Iceland. My name is Robbie Dove. I'm going to be your commentator for the day. We've got some good darts lined up, but before we do get there, I'd just like to let you know how you can support Live Darts Iceland if you enjoy what we do. Obviously, we run streams of darts. It's what we do, and it's what we love doing. Streams with commentary as well. We do all sorts. Um, but, of course, these things do come at a cost. Equipment costs, internet costs, etc., etc. It's not free. Um, don't get me wrong, we're still going to carry on doing it. But if you are interested in at all helping us out in any way you can, then I'd recommend having a quick look at our Patreon site, patreon.com forward slash live darts Iceland. What is Patreon exactly? Well, Patreon is a way you can show support to causes that you like by subscribing to them on a monthly basis. You can just put in a couple of quids or dollars or euros or whatever your currency is per month and you'll know that all of that money will go straight to us to help us produce future content. We like producing lots of decent content. We're going to continue doing so. Can't get my words out. And if you would like to support that, then please, by all means, have a quick look at uh, patreon.com forward slash live darts Iceland. Even if it's just a couple of pennies a month, it will all go a very, very long way. The people at the moment who subscribe to us on Patreon are Assi Hraffenson, Brad Wendell, or is it Wendell? Maybe it's Vendel. Let me know, Brad. Andrew Dugan and Geronimo Darts as well. All of those people subscribe to us, so thank you very much. Anyone who does subscribe to us on Patreon, we will mention your name on every single stream. That you can be sure of. That's all for the business for now. I do hope you enjoy the darts to follow. I do hope indeed you enjoy the darts to follow. We've got four players. I'm going to let them know we're all ready to go, and then we're going to be in for some cracking arrows. All right, gents, ready to begin whenever you are. Good luck. There we go. Now, at the moment, you can't hear them. You should be able to hear them now. We have got Sigurd Gudmundsson from Akresk. We have got Jesper Sam Poulsen from Akresk as well. And we've got these two, Gudjon and Horda. They're both Grindjanar, and they're both in Grindavik. Uh, I think I know the order in which they're going to play, but we're in for a little bit of fun. I'm thoroughly looking forward to this one. Um, we're going to start off with two games, two legs of 501. 30. And 30 is probably not uh, exactly what he was looking for. There we go. Good John Hawkson is second with the throw. Jesper's third, and Horder will be fourth. Yes, so we've been uh, playing also. We've had semi finals, we had a third place playoff, which was quite a good one. And um, Team 180.is, they won that third place playoff. And they're just waiting for Dark Connect, the Dark Connect system, to update itself. By the sounds of things, 30 scored by Sigurd. Throw, guys. <laughs> uh, is it okay to throw? Yeah. <laughs> they, oh. they didn't realise we had started. Is he going to throw his darts again? Good John Hawkson. I think he threw his darts, not realising. Oh, he, <laughs> he actually started. So, um, <laughs> we are just going to wait and see what happens here. Two gains of 501, two gains of cricket, two gains of 301 double in, and it repeats itself until someone reaches eight legs. That's straightforward. Now, I do wonder if Sigurger is going to throw these three his three darts again. I doubt it because he's already said 30 and that's in. I just genuinely think that uh, Gudjon, Gudjon Hawkson, who's playing in Grindavik with his, uh, with his son, oh, Gudjonsson. Yeah, Gudjonsson's the son and Gudjon's the father. Um, both in Grindavik, both sharing a board. I don't think he realised they were starting. So I, think... I don't speak Icelandic, unfortunately, so I can't quite work out what's going on. No, I, doubt, I doubt these three sixteens are no, counting. No. Eh, it's all part of the fun and games. Live darts, sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch and Periscope, Live Darts Iceland. Periscope's closing down actually in March, I think it is. So why don't you follow us on Periscope right up until Periscope closes down. We're on Twitter as well, Live Dart Iceland, and I am on uh, Twitter, Robbie Darts, if you do like the sound of my voice and want to see my voice in words. 
I don't tweet that often. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Right, now we're back on. With Jesper. There we go. Right, we're on track. And that's a nice travel 20 there from Jesper. Plenty of room in that bed. Okay. And Horda with the fourth throw. Okay. And then we're back to the beginning. It's a treble here. Yeah? Well, 30 and that haven't really started off particularly strongly as of yet. So Sigiger only got 30 with his foot. Is that in the treble? That looks like a nice dart. Whether it's in or not, it's laying very pretty. Shoot your turn. There's plenty of room to that left hand side. Weren't able to find. I text you. That's a ton. That's a nice dart. That's a nice visit to the board. It just gets them a little bit more interested. And 35. Oh, that was unlucky. 50 score there. Not quite what he was after. So good John here. Would love a ton. Is that in the treble or is that in the one? Looks like it might be in the ones. Good your turn. And only 26 the score. So neither on a finish. Needs to be careful here. I don't you. <laughs> well, 23 and 7 is 30 scores, so 152 is on a finish. But it's not a particularly good one. Not the best start by either team, if I can say so myself. Need your film. It's not like I could do much better. Mind you, 81 left if Horder does not get this. Will not get this. Arundra. So 81 here for Jesper. Jesus Christ, sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sorry is the cool. Treble 19. Well, that's 79 left. He'll stay there. It's not 78 left. My apologies. Um, thank you. I've been told that Horder is going to be throwing straight after yesterday. Oh, wow. so <coughs> what I can tell you is that it's 52 in two darts. That's a brilliant way to start yeah. things off. Oh, yeah. And good John Hawkson yeah, yeah. is going to start this leg. Oh, yeah, really, really impressive stuff there. A clean kill. Wasn't the best opening leg by any stretch of the imagination. But 52 in uh, two darts. 12 for tops. That's a way to stamp your authority on this game. I don't try. Actually, Sixty. Mentre There we go. That's a nice treble from Goodjohn. We're going to need to see a few more of these. We want some big scores, so big scores fast. Akresk has started pretty well. Averaging 112 in this leg. Oh, it's going to carry on as well. This is good from Sigiger. That's not so good. Oh, that wasn't so good either. There we go. Who do you fancy in this leg? Who do you fancy in this leg? 
Hawkson, father and son, lead against the throw. And we're looking to have a, th a uh, throw straight back. Out of you. One five three not going to happen. So to go two nil up after two legs, seventy six. In the hands of Horder, sixteen. We saw twelve for tops last leg. Are we going to see sixteen for tops this leg? Oh no, we're not. The board just rejected that dart. And yes, but this could be a steal. That's in the trouble. Seven is it? 72 remain, if my eyes do not deceive me. Looks that way. Double 12. Oh, yes, was only been playing, I don't know, for like, uh, like less than a year. I think March 2020 he started. So it's pretty impressive stuff in such a short period of time. Watson needs well, 39 now. Is it 19s? This is not a bad way to go. It is. Double 10. Oh, and that's a little low. So Sigurger then to get Team Akresk out of trouble. Needs double 12. Well, that's a mess. 19. Three for double eight. Oh, double five. Oh. oh. You know, I'd like to say it was a good effort. It was quite a good effort. I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. Horda gets that double 10. Holds his throw and it is now to a piece. So Sigurger is going to start things off over in a bit of cricket. In a minute we should see these figures change to cricket figures. I've got a nice little notepad in front of me. Is that three twenties and a nineteen? Another one opens up the bed. Three nineteens it is, and it is now open. Wow, he's missed nineteen twice here. 20, I'd say. Just just get some score on That's exactly what he's done. So looking to open up these 18. Uh, Hasn't done so yet. Now it's the same as um, yes, but 19, I would say here. Oh, so now it's the 20. That closes it off completely. Go. The 19s are open. And that's the 18s as well. That looks very nice indeed. That's the 17s in favour of Grindyanar. And I think that's the 16s as well, by the looks of things. No, it wasn't the 16s, it was just one mark against the 16. My apologies. Is he going to close out the 18s? Three out No, but just hit, hit three of them because they weren't closed anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough, Jesper. Sixteens now belong to Green Jenner. Yeah, against the fifteens as well. Eighteens are currently the hot property of our crest. Nothing else, just the eighteens untouched. I think four seventeens. I think that's the seventeens. Gone. Twenties, nineteens, seventies closed. That is now the 15s in favour of Gringinar as well. And that 
Stay there, Ad. I, what does it say there? Is it it I think that's in the treble. That's good stuff indeed. That now means Acres don't own anything. I think that is. That looks like the 16s are closed. It's just the 15s and the bulls are remain. The 15s, of course, belong to Gringin R, so. Got to gotta, gotta go 15 here, or treble, or double, or get some points on the board. They're still behind. They are still behind. Hasn't done so. That was a bit of a mistake, in my opinion. Three bullseyes here. And it's closed. Instead, looking to close out the 15s. Okay, that works. And that's exactly what they've done. Now, no one owns anything. The bullseye's available, and there's three points ahead. I think they should. They really should have tried to make use of that 15 as much as they can. That's two in the bull. Well, really needed to get in there. At least two as well. Haven't done so. Now the pressure is back on that cresc. One bulls I hear in this open. Is that in a single? I think it is. That's not opened. Oh, and they just needed that, and it would have been a win. They just needed that, and it would have been a win. So now, that's one. That's two. He needs another. This is important. Oh, he's just missed as well. He's just missed as well. Drama here in Grindavik. Drama all over Iceland. That's good. You now just needs... What, right, now he's in, now another, and that's it. Well, he wasn't another, and that was it. He, he owned it, and that was it. So that was game in favour of Gringenar. They now lead 3 0. It's going wrong, isn't it? It's starting to go a little bit wrong. <coughs> I've written a nine and it looks like a seven. That's why I'm getting the confused with my camera work. So do forgive me. Oh, I think that's only two, there. two marks there for uh, Gringinar in the twenties. Oh no, that was three. Fair enough. And that is nothing. Yes. That is a miss. Just stay straight. 319 is absolutely fine. This might be a little problematic now for Akresk. That's still nothing. So far, four darts, no marks. Five darts, no marks. Six darts, no marks. I'm a poet, and I know it. There we go. They're in. Again, 17s, why not? Just go for the clean sweep. Don't score any points. They own the 20s, they own the 19s, they own the 18s. He's thinking about what to do. There we go, perfect. And another, even a treble will be perfect. So Sigurga here is going to desperately need to get into those 17s. And that looks like it's a single to me. And nothing. And that's in. They're finally in. And they actually, ironically, now are going to be on the board. Whereas Horder and Co are not. Which is quite funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's ironic. Could have considered there closing out those uh, 17s. They had two marks against the 17s. Jesus Christ. Jesus is not going to help you. One mark on the 17s. Excuse me. 17s are firmly closed. So I can confirm that Gringin R, they own 20s, 19s, 18s, 16s. Akres own nothing. But they do own 34 points. They are now in the 15s. 15s is good. That's two, two treble 15s on the single. That looks really good. 
Well, just closing up the 15. It's in a bit of trouble now. They've done a lot of bed opening and attempted bed closing. They own 20s, 19s, 18s untouched. I think I'm untouched as well. Well, okay. That's one way of doing it. Putting your, putting a couple of marks on the boards, and getting one mark against those fifteens. That works. But they are going to need to start scoring as quickly as they can. That doesn't look like it's into me. That's single twenty treble five. All right, the fifteen is into. It's a masterclass in how to get collateral on as many beds as possible, as many numbers as possible. Yeah, Yet not actually no. to a job in scoring. That's two bullseyes. That's good from Horder. Oh, and a nice treble 15 there as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good going. But quite a long way back. Yes, but with the darts. Look at these numbers. Big deficits. What is going for uh, Team Gringinar in this one is the fact that... That cracks don't own any... Don't own any beds, do they? Don't own any numbers. 17s, they had 17s, are gone. Couple of bullseyes there, slowly creeping that number up. Well, three very fast throw yes. darts there from Sigurgur. But it's cannot find. Well, that was in and out, wasn't it? The treble 18s. I'm going for the 19s instead, why not? There you go, 19 and 18 to add to the score. But there's not I really much in it right now. <laughs> eventually, it's the game. They did do it the hard way, let me tell you. Let me tell you indeed. Four with no reply. They're halfway there. Oh, that's the holding. That's me. And Sigurgur is going to have the darts. 301. Now we've seen two games of 501, two games of cricket. 301 with a double Sigurgur. in. Nice and simple and straightforward. Habish. Can't go in. So yes, but here, yeah. I'd love to get him down to a finish. Fifty-six. And Fifty-six. I'm still in. Uh, I'm still in cricket mode, wondering what's going on. I, I missed. Oh, and it's missed. I thought one of those was in the treble, in the double. Sorry, but it wasn't. That's a nice, nice ton there. That'll put Jesper on the 96. He just needs to do something good. John needs to do something here. Can't find tops. Are we going to see a whitewash? I don't think I've commentated on a whitewash yet. Treble 17 would have left double top. Doesn't. So then, hold. I think the priority is just get any double of any sort. Just get out of this whitewash situation. Hey, I miss. That was a miss. Not just... <laughs> Yeah, 
Hold up. Hold up. Should be throwing here. Well, I, I heard and saw a 16. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Finally on track. Sometimes the Dark Connect system doesn't have a mind of its own, but it can be a little, uh, not complicated. Dark Connect's brilliant. I'll stay. But if you press the wrong thing, then, uh, then you've had it, haven't you? That's brilliant. Look at that. Treble 19, treble 19, treble 20. 174. To leave four, right? Brilliant stuff there. I love that a lot. I don't think I've seen that ever. That looks like a ton there for Sigigo. Was it a ton? I think it was. Oh, <laughs> madhouse. Well, it'd be a big ask. I mean, this is possible, don't get me wrong. One for four. This would be a real steal, wouldn't it? An absolute steal. <laughs> It hasn't happened, so Brinjan R will get the chance again. He left double, f double four <laughs> with his 174. So maybe he can hit double four. And he does indeed. Five, one, score. Three back to back holds a throw. Sigiga with the darts here. I might have said 4 1. Did I say 4 1? I don't know if I said 4 1 or not, but it is 5 1. I can tell you. Eight legs wins it. At this rate, it's going to go pretty quickly. Each of him. This is nice. Remember? Oh, brilliant stuff there. Really good for Nigel Hawkson. Two nice treble twenties. Remember, we're back to 501 now, straight in. Double out, of course. I'll stop him. Again, this is decent stuff here from Gudjon Hawkson. And it's the ton in the end. He did a little disappointed. First dart went in the treble. Couldn't find it with the next two. But I don't think he's overly disappointed. Hall of the Johnson, son, of course, of Good John Hawkson. Staying downstairs. Wanted to get 95 or more. To leave a ton. Or, of course, less. We'll settle for 138. 138, a fun little fact for you. My highest ever checkout. Two treble 20s Should for that you? double nine. Might have gone that way. You, you never know. I mean, you didn't need to. But if you've got a nice line, why not? I don't to do your field. That tees up 54 quite nicely. So Horder should have himself two at double of his choice. Two at tops, perhaps. I think it was him that hit 12 for tops. First, oh, brilliant. Clean kill. Pop, pop, as they say. That was a break of throw. 
that was a break of throw. Good John Hawkson is going to be throwing in this next game of 501. This is leg number eight. Three breaks of throw is seen, all three in favour of Akresk. No, sorry, well, all three broken by Akresk, not in favour, in favour of the other guys, Grinjanar. Your nice last starts. Tucked into that treble 19. I realise there's a really fuzzy background that's probably rather quiet and looking. Sorry about that. Good use of the treble 19s. Is that one or two? Yeah, I think that's two. That's good, that is. Sig go them. They're still on track. 111 year average in this leg so far. So, yes, but. And that Kresk with the advantage here. We want to leave it nice and handy. We'd love a treble. That would be good. We didn't want a single three. That wouldn't be good. And it's looking like that Kresk are going to get their second leg on the board. A little lacklustrical visit there. Left the big fish. 152 is not going to go. So they are going to get a crack at it. Oh, this is nice. 140 to leave 12. Oh, that's your shoe. No, 87. Well then, Horner, what are you made of? It's your new. That looks like it's in a single one, so 14 bull, and he's not hit the 14, so 13 will tee. Sick are on top. Oh, he's hit the treble, okay. 14 left, double seven. Yeah, there you go. Good John Hawks and them. 111. What are you made of, good John? Oh, 106, not going to happen in two darts. Going to the single one is all right, it's not ideal. But it's all right. Going into those single. Fist is not all right. That's all right. Though for Sigiger gets the double seven. That's a breaker throw. Cricket now. Sigiger is going to be on the hot desk. And here's the cricket board. Nineteens okay. are not the property yet. Not the property of anyone. I'm sure Jesper's going to try and change that here. Three, two big nineteens. That's one. I think that's two. Which would suggest... Oh. Yes, indeed. So, 20s, 19s. One mark on the 18s. So, I mean, they can afford a, you know, just to chuck a dart at 19, just to close that out. But they really want points. And they really want collateral, is what I call it. Sorry, Adrian. So, Gringenar own two of the 19s and two of the 18s, but they don't actually own any number yet. And now they certainly don't. Blimey, that was a good dart, wasn't it? 
And that's just Jordan, snuck into those twos by the looks of things. Triple 17 would have been useful there, wouldn't it? 75 for Akres. Grinjin are not yet off the mark. 17's. Well, you know. I don't get that at all. Unless I've got it wrong, you'd surely open look at opening the 17s. There you go, that's one mark. It's probably going to be a bit too late for that now. And if he gets another thing, there you go, that's a treble, so there's more points on the board. 16s? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff here from Jesper San Paulson. That was a mistake, not going for those 17s. All they can really do is 15s, which they have got, and score on them. 30 points, not quite enough. This is good. Just stay straight. Three straight 15s would be more than enough. That's exactly what they've done. It's the only bed that's actually closed out. So all they can do is go for the bullseye here. Good, Jon. He can either close beds, not a good idea, or go for the bullseye, which is the smallest target on the ball. Granted, the entire bullseye is bigger. I haven't even found that. This could be all over here. This could be all over. Yes, for Sam Paulson, just needs three green bits or a green bit and a red bit. That's one green. <clears throat> well then. Order. Bring in a bit of order. That's one bullseye, I think. Uh, one apiece. Oh no, it wasn't a bullseye. Take that back. That's two. Still Can you imagine three bullseyes here? Go right in the middle, right about in the middle. There it is, right in the middle. I love that. But that's still only worth two, unlike the doubles. So, Jesper, there it is. And that ended up with everything being owned by Akresk, with the exception of the 15s, which very, very shortly went. Very shortly indeed. So we're going to see good John Hawkson, if I'm not mistaken. Ringenar to get two. So this means that Akres can attack these 20s. Just open them up. Oh, he doesn't do so. He doesn't do so. That's a mistake. Wants to open these. Really wants a treble. Oh, doesn't find one. Needs a treble here. Needs to get them on the board. Gets two of those 19s. And there is the three 19s. So that's going to be points on the board. And a little more. And two marks. Against the 70. You know, I quite like that play. I kind of like that play. Sigur, sorry, not Jesper. Um, going 17 to 19, similar sort of eye line. I don't mind that at all. And eventually they get hold of something in the 18s in this occasion. To close out the 18th, sensible idea when you're ahead on points. There it is. 18s no longer exist in this little parallel universe that we live in. Going with 17s here, it's the 3, that's in. Another, lay it just on top, oh, and he did lay it on top, but far too high. Didn't matter, they have now got the 17s and a couple of points. Oh, obviously not, I thought they did. No, it was I, I marked the wrong thing, they're, they're two apiece. So whoever gets the 17 will open it. 
There it is. So now the 17s are owned by Cringe and R. My apologies. Lovely <laughs> Trouble 7. It's a shame Trouble 7 counts for absolutely nothing. There's two of them. Are they going to open the 16s here? No, they are not. It's frustrating cricket, isn't it? It's really frustrating. Sometimes all you need to do is hit a big single. And just because one big single was missed, that has given up the entirety of this number 16. It's a close knit game, this one. That was really good. That was nice. Yes, but it's been good at cricket. They've still got 20s. They're going for the balls. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right, go right about here. That's where you want to go, right about there. I'll make it easy for you, man. <laughs> didn't do it after all that. After all that, he didn't even go for it. Okay, just add some more numbers. That's why he didn't like the the he didn't like the line. So I can get that. Yes. And nothing there. So yeah, shall I make it really easy for you again? Oh, I was about to say anywhere in there. And there we go. That's the bullseye. Now it's a matter of closing out. The bullseye on 115, is that? Three fifteens is pretty good. And there is the game at long last. So that was a good game, that. Father and son started off nicely. And in terms of the actual match as well, father and son. Have been starting off very nicely indeed. Another game of cricket, why not? No, not another game of cricket, my bad. Another game of 301, here we go. He's got the double in and they are very much off. It's just one leg away. Our father and son just one leg away from the Rubik's League of Darts title. Switch here? Oh, brilliant. Did he just switch? Oh, hang on. Does that miss? Oh, it was. Sorry, I'm not being sarcastic saying, oh, brilliant. I thought that was a really good dart, but no. The naked eye made it look like it was in, but apparently it just about missed. Miss. And they can't do it now. It's been the only problem, really, hasn't it? Sorry, I'm getting used to which cameras I'm going to be uh, doing this. Far too many cameras and people and places and whatnot for me to get my little head around. But I can tell you it's this guy, Good John, is now throwing. And he's the double eight. Or go, why not use that and try and go for something like double eleven? I miss. I mean, he's got the right idea. He has got the right idea. Tops, tops. Nope. Just 60. And that's going to tee up very nicely indeed. Oh. Is that 41? Oh, that was a bad last time, wasn't it? Thankfully, he'll get away with it. That's not in, but the bed's still open. That's not in, but the bed's a little more closed. Oh. <laughs> Flipping it, man. That is so typical, isn't it? Can't hit any double around the outer edge. Instead, hits the smallest target on the board. First attempt, and bang, straight in there. Didn't matter. Sigurd pins in that double 10. That gets them another leg. It's 4 7. Ah, good John is going to be throwing 
first, if I can find good John. Here's good John. Having a breather. And it still wasn't a whitewash leg. The only thing that stopped it being a whitewash was that beautiful bullseye. Well, I think that's been that's been the only real weakness, hasn't it? I miss. That's the cigar guy who's going to be throwing now. Is he going to miss? They haven't missed much, have they, Akresk? Miss. That was a great effort for the treble twenty. It's a shame it wasn't an effort for the treble twenty. Missed. Well, yeah. you know, lightning will not strike twice. I really thought he was going to stay at tops. I really did. I was also very wrong. There we go. Good job. Miss. And more misses. We haven't seen this, have we? Plenty of time to get in. This will damage the averages. Well, who wants it? No. There it is. Double 19. Not the most common of doubles, but they are very much up and running. Is that in? I think that's in. I genuinely do not know. Yes, it was. That was a good dart. 80 score. Really good first dart there. Good John Hawkson's good on the treble 19s. He's real good. Remember, they win this leg. They are the champions. I need your help. Fifty-eight leaves ninety. Ninety points away from lifting the virtual trophy. Yes, but it's going to need to put pressure on it. And a one and a five is not going to do that. Sixty-six or twenty-six. Didn't see what they were on before. Good job, Hawks. And then bullseye. Go on, bullseye. Go on, bullseye. Go on, right in the middle. I dare you. Right here, good job. No, he's gone the 18s instead. Stay there or double double. What's that? That's four score and the uh, the seven there. It's not great. But how likely is Sigurgur going to hit this one five one? Impossible now. If he had four darts, he might. Well, no. Six. Oh no, that's not what he wanted. That now has bought Horda plenty of time. For this. Nine for double top. That's close for the match. And the 2020 slash 21 Rubik's League of Dark Championship. Champion. Team Green Diana. Horda. Ball. Good Johnson and of course good Johnson. Well, 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 well. Great entertainment. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of a mess on the cameras, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Um, yeah. It is Team Grinjian R yeah. who are the champions. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Well done to oh, Hordak. Yeah. Well done to Good John as well. Enjoyed that. Hope you did. A little bit of light-hearted fun. Remember, the next uh, stream will be the Reykjavik International Games. It is going to be taking place as it stands, 29th to the 31st of January. It'll be broadcast here live on Live Darts Iceland YouTube. Twitch, Facebook, all the usual platforms, we will be there. And if you're lucky or unlucky, I might be doing your commentary as well. Um, once again, thank you so much to our Patreons, Astor, Brad, Andrew, and Geronimo. And of course, once again, a massive well done to Team Grindiana, who are the champions. Runners up team, Akresk, Jesper, and Sigurd. But your winners, Horda and Gudjon Hoxon. Brilliant stuff indeed. Thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Just thanks for supporting Live Darts Iceland. If you can support us on Patreon, please do. If you can't, that's okay as well. Just watch the streams. That's good enough for us. Cheers once again, everyone. And we'll see you again for the Reykjavik International Games from...